She'd come in the back of the church, and this is where it all goes wrong. The first thing she sees is the oil. At the end of the aisle, she sees the altar. Then she sees you. That sticks in her head. I'll alter you. <laughs> so my first wedding, 30 years ago, we went up to the honeymoon suite with these words ringing in my ears. Get her trained, son, on the wedding night. She'll never do what she's told. I was only a young lad. I was only 21. I didn't know. I'd listen to him. We got into the bedroom. I took off my jacket, my shirt, my tie. Took off my trousers, threw them across the bedroom to my new wife. I said, stick them on, sweetheart. Yeah. She put them on, she said, they don't fit. So I said, that's to show you who wears the trousers in this relationship. <laughs> she laughed. She went into the bathroom, because times were a little bit different then. She was a bit shy. She'd come out in one of them see-through negligees. <whistles> yeah, you could see her vest and everything. <laughs> Thermal. <laughs> She came in, took off her knickers, threw across the bedroom to me, she said, put them on fat. So I thought, hello, first night, big kinky, we'll have a go. <laughs> I got them up to my knees, I said, I can't get in them. She said, nor will you if you don't change your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> now my first wife, lads and ladies, I've got to be honest with you, she was unlucky, sadly. Apart from marrying me, that is. I'll tell you how unlucky she was, I took her to a funeral and she caught the wreath. <laughs> My second wife, when she left me, initially I did miss her. I did manage to get the car in reverse and get her on the way back, so that one was about. <laughs> My third wife, the only way I can describe her, ladies and gentlemen, she was a babe. You saw her film, did you? <laughs> I've got one now, she's cuddly. She's what we call in Somerset a chubber. It was her birthday the other day and I thought I'd better buy her a present. I went out and bought her a belt and a bag. I mean, the Hoover works lovely, but she wasn't happy. I went into a sex shop. Who's been into a sex shop? Who? No, you ought to pop in and have a look. I popped in to have a look in the Oval. Of all places, we've got a sex shop in the Oval. I went in to buy her one of them see-through negligees. I thought, that'd chivvy up the life in the bedroom. I walked in, I said, have you got any of them see-through nighties? He said, we certainly have, sir. What size do you want? I said, size 40. He said, who the hell wants to see through that? 